So before we put our cylinder head back on our block, I have some grease on here from where I put the pistons in. And I'm just going to take some brake cleaner and a rag. And just kind of wipe off the surface of the block. Make sure everything's nice and clean. And unlike a lot of engines, there's no dowel pins or anything to locate the head or the gasket. So you can do one of two things. You can either just wing it, which is what I'm going to do, because I can get it pretty close. Or you can take and take some bolts and cut the heads off of them and just stick them down in here to act as studs to slide your gasket and your head onto. Just be sure that you make it to where you can get those bolts back out. Okay, on our head gasket, this thing goes one way. And you pretty much can look at the block and tell which way it goes. All along the top up here, we have all of our holes for our push rods. So that means this is going to go over here. However, on the front and the back, we have holes and no holes on our block. We have holes at the back, no holes at the front. So our head gasket's gonna lay on there in that direction. And like I say, I'm just gonna kinda line it up the best that I can. Looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna go get the head. And when I put the head on here, I'm gonna lay it straight down and try to get these holes to line up as straight as I can. Okay, so now that that's on there, let's see, I need to move it forward just a little bit. And we look pretty good. Alright, so now I gotta get this thing bolted down. And speaking of our head bolts, mine are going to have to be re-cleaned since I laid them down here weeks ago and they got dirt on them. We have two different lengths. There's a long and a short. This should be self-explanatory, but I'm going to go ahead and say it anyway. Long ones go in your long two holes, or sets of holes. On this side, your short ones go over here in between your rocker arms, or your push rods rather. Like I said, it should be self-explanatory, but I'm going to put it out there anyway. Okay. Now on these bolts, just like I did with the mains, I'm going to use some ultra torque on them. Now some of your bolts are inside your valve cover and other ones are outside of it. So the ones outside of it is probably going to have paint still on. So be sure they go on the outside of the valve cover. And something I don't know if I've ever mentioned on this build. I was talking about putting ultra torque on these bolts. There's no need for thread sealer on that bolt. And I think there's really only one bolt in this entire engine that you have to worry about thread sealer on. Take back three bolts. And that's your three water pump bolts. They're the only ones that thread into the water jackets on this, on this engine. Everything else is a blind bolt. So, there's only three you really need to worry about. 
Okay, so now that I got all these in here, I'm just going to run them up with my fingers. Or a wrench if I can find it. <laughs> Been so long since I took this thing apart. So now that everything is ran up, we're going to pull up our torque diagram. Due to the simple fact the cylinder head has to be torqued in a certain sequence. And if you don't have the manual, I'll post a picture of it so you can see the order that you need to torque these in. As I typically do an X pattern, but you can't do an X pattern on this head design. So I'm going to just go out there and just recommend that if you plan on working on one of these tractors to go ahead and get this shop manual. It's very helpful. So there's our diagram for a diesel engine. There's your diagram for a gasoline engine. And to torque the head bolts on this diesel is 100 to 105 foot pounds. So I'm going to do basically three stages. I'm going to do about 35, 70, and then 100. And on your gas motor, they want them torqued to 65 or 70. If I was doing that one, I would probably just do two. Go to like 30 and then 30, or 30 and 65, 35, 65, something like that. But since I have to go so high on this diesel motor, I'm gonna go ahead and do them in three stages. Okay, so on the diesel engine, I'm gonna start at 35. And on this diagram that I just showed you in the video, this side with the injectors is the top. This is at the bottom. So our number one is actually this short bolt right there. So we're gonna torque it to 35 first. And then go to number two. Number three is over here at cylinder number three. Then number four is back here. Number five. And this is number six. So now that I look at it, it is kind of doing an X type pattern. There's six, so I'm going to come back over here to do number seven. Now we're going back to number eight. This should be number nine. Nope, that's ten. This is nine. There's ten. Eleven. Number twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen.
15. Sixteen. Seventeen. And eighteen. Now we have our first stage done. I'm going to show you a trick on how to do the higher stages without this engine stand rolling all over the place. So we're going to take our motor engine, if you want to be specific, and we're going to turn it on its side. Okay, so now we got our motor on our side. Or on its side, rather. It might be on our side, it might hate us, we don't know. But anyway, motor's on the side. So now we're going to go to 70 foot-pounds. So now whenever I torque this down, I'm actually pushing down towards the ground. So the ground's going to push back on me, instead of my engine stand trying to walk away. Let's bring our diagram back. See, now our diagram matches the orientation of the head, so it's a whole lot easier doing it upside down. Okay, so number one. And you want to do this in just one smooth motion. There's two. Do you see how much easier that was versus trying to fight the engine stand rolling around? It stayed perfectly still. So now let's go to 100. And we'll do the same thing. However, in this time, or this time, you saw me had to back up a couple times. Try to avoid that. kind of scary. Let's 
12. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Eighteen. Now that head's torqued, but I like to go back and just double check them one more time at a hundred foot pounds. I just want to hear that wrench click again. That's all I want. Okay, and a couple of them wanted to move, but not by much. But that head is now torqued. I'm going to go ahead now and flip the motor back up the right way. And there we go. So now the head's installed. I'm ready to get the injectors rebuilt, get them installed. And then we'll get the valve train finished.